And we're back with a little tutorial on slime and dealing with slime lung. This is one of those subjects that has changed a lot over all the patches that have happened, but now that the release is out, it's time to go through how to deal with it and deal with it safely and effectively. First thing you're going to need is deodorizers. Deodorizers are absolutely essential for dealing with these things. You're going to have to research deodorizers and you're only going to put a few down before you go into the slime area and preferably come in at the slime area from the top because we're going to be using that water to help stop the slime from off-gassing. Now, what you're going to want to do is attack this very carefully. And by very carefully, I mean just dive right in there like you just don't care. Slime is almost... it's almost useless at this point. I don't want to be too, too derogatory of it, but it's not really that dangerous. So, just to demonstrate that, I am going to... these dupes, it's Cycle 58, I don't have Atmos suits, uh, I don't even have a medical center up. They're just going to dive right in here and we're going to demolish this entire slime biome, just in one big fell swoop. We're not even going to bother putting deodorizers in until we've got uh, a little bit into it first. So as you can see, there is lots of polluted oxygen there, lots of slime lung, but I'm not letting any of that slime lung out just yet. Now, once all of them have uh, dug out some of this sedimentary rock, I want some sedimentary rock to make the ladders out of the rest of this. I'll queue up some more ladders there, but this time I'm using sedimentary rock for it because the sedimentary rock is close by and there's no point making your dupes travel long distances. Uh, once you're in, you're in a bit, what you can do is you can start replacing some of these with mesh tiles. Airflow tiles will do in a pinch. And then you're going to stick in some deodorizers on top of them. Now, some people like to do uh, one ladder segment and then go down seven and then do another ladder segment because that can get all of them. Your choice. It doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, as for mesh tiles, you can place them right over ladder segments. The reason I put, don't put it place in these tiles straight away is because I want the slime at the top to fall down. I don't want any slime sitting on top of tiles. Like I said, slime's not that dangerous, but you might as well give it some respect. Let as much slime as possible fall down towards the bottom. This water down here will help submerge it and stop it from off-gassing more than we really want to deal with. So, as you can see, yes, lots of slime lung germs. They're not making it past here, though. Slime lung is not effective when it's not in oxygen. Or, well, no, it needs to be in polluted oxygen to survive. If it ends up inside clean oxygen, it starts to die off. So we'll just grab some clean oxygen there, go to the germ overlay, dying on oxygen, 29% data cycle. Slime lung cannot survive on anything but slime. Uh, it can infect other things like algae and clay, but so long as it's separated from slime, it will eventually just die off. Uh, none of my dupes are yet sick. The way slime lung works is once a duplicate is exposed to slime lung, for example, this one here, uh, exposed to slime lung germs. You can see all of this information here, most of it, it doesn't really matter. The best thing you want to think of it is they won't get slime lung in the middle of the day. When they wake up in the morning, if they were exposed to slime lung the day before, then the game just rolls a dice depending on exposure and a bunch of other random factors. And if that if they roll badly, they end up getting slime lung and they will be affected by it for three days. I'm pretty sure a couple of my dupes are going to get slime lung by the end of this. Oh, one second. Forgot to queue up more build orders there. So yes, we are, as you can see, demolishing through this quite quickly and quite, quite efficiently. And no sick dupes as of yet. I'll skip it forward a bit until we've got some more of this mined out. So, day two of taking out the slime biome, uh, all my dupes have gotten up, and still no one's sick. Like I said, slime lung, very weak sauce. Bear in mind this is on normal difficulty, not hard difficulty, so this is just average. If you're playing on average difficulty, this is the kind of difficulty you can expect. If you're playing on the harder difficulties, this can get a little bit more tricky. Your dupes will not like getting sick. It affects their stress levels, it does nasty things, and their immune systems don't recover so well, depending on what kind of difficulties you've kicked in. But on average, normal difficulty... Slime lung, not a bother. We're almost through it here. Once we're down to it, I'm going to show you the right way to finish up and the wrong way to finish up. We'll start with the wrong way first, just so you get a good feel for it. It is the start of the next day, and one of the dupes has gotten sick. Let's uh, go check on Donny Diggo. Donny Diggo has slime lung, their breath is minus 1%, their athletics is minus 3 and they have coughing. Uh, contracted by breathing germ-filled polluted oxygen. Time to recovery 3.7 cycles. So for the next 3.7 cycles, they're going to have a debuff to their athletics. Their breath is not going to recover as quickly, which means they're going to have to stop to breathe every so often. And they're going to sneeze, which will sneeze out polluted oxygen with slime lung germs in it. And normally that's not an issue, but as you can see, there's little pieces of polluted oxygen about my base, which is not good. Those pieces of polluted oxygen can harbor those slime lung germs. If the duplicate sneezes in clean oxygen with no polluted oxygen nearby, the their sneeze doesn't give off any germs. Nothing comes out, basically. So, so long as you keep your, your base, your core base, clean of that, you shouldn't have a, a sudden massive outbreak. That can happen if you have a lot of dirty oxygen in your base. I'm looking at you, all you players who use algae, uh, algae deoxidizers, or mm, what are they called again? 
algae terrariums. Algae terrariums have a tendency with the polluted water they give off to off-gas a lot of polluted oxygen. So you players might be want to be a little bit more careful. Spam way more deodorizers. Anyway, we'll just get back to digging, but because I have one dupe with a little bit of a problem, uh, they're going to be a bit slower. So more diggity, or was it Dunny Diggo? Uh, yeah, Donny Diggo. Donny Diggo is going to be a little bit slower off the bat getting to and from work, so I'm going to give them an extra downtime slot, just so that they have more time to get back to base. If I don't do that, there could be the potential for them to not make it back in time to get food, and this thing could spiral badly. It's not always essential, but I like to be absolutely 100% safe, even though you can't tell by my style of play of removing slime line. Now, as you can see here, we've almost gone through all of that, and if you check the overlay here, you'll see lots of germs, lots of nasty slime lung germs. But we're almost done. Now, this is the incorrect way to finish up. The reason being is we haven't put down some deodorizers all the way down at the bottom. Also, we'd want to get some deodorizers over here on the side. If you check the slime here, you'll see, where is it? Slime. Slime, emitting polluted oxygen at 41.7 grams a second. Slime off-gasses, or it decays into polluted oxygen when it's left on, out in the open atmosphere. However, it'll only keep decaying until the air pressure around it is 1.8 kilos, or any pressure around it is 1.8 kilos. If you were to submerge it in water, well, that's more than 1.8 kilos of pressure, and that slime in here will not off-gas. This stuff, however, will. But we'll just skip forward a bit, and we'll see how bad it gets in here in terms of germs. As you can see down here, it's been a couple of cycles, but there's still a lot of polluted oxygen down here. Also, a lot of germs going all the way up. Even though it's clean oxygen up here, they are slowly dying off in that. But the problem is this polluted oxygen down the bottom won't really go away. I don't have deodorizers close enough to it, and the polluted water down here is going to keep it going to keep it alive and the oxygen down here will sort of push it down until eventually we're going to end up with oxygen sort of down to about this level and polluted oxygen down here and the two of them will keep exchanging germs which is kind of annoying because it can hurt your duplicates but we'll fix that in a minute the other one is i've got donny diggo down here and i've managed to bring them down to this area it's a polluted water tank and i've had them sneeze and when they sneeze you see that plus 1000 slime lung germs what's happened here is they've sneezed in an area full of polluted oxygen and now those germs are going to start spreading. And those germs are going to pollute this and contaminate this whole area with uh, polluted oxygen full of slime lung germs. Uh, as you can see here, yep, the polluted oxygen here, some of it's got slime lung germs in it and it's just going to keep spreading. So if you're dealing with slime, make sure you take care of everywhere. So this place here, it's about to get de deodorized as well. So we'll put in a few deodorizers down here and a few on the top. And that there will make thorough thoroughly sure that there's no polluted oxygen escaping out of here and no places for the slime lung to hide. We don't want that slime lung surviving. Now to do something a little bit similar down here. And that's more like it. What you want to make sure is you track down every single blob of that polluted oxygen. Bring up the gas overlay. It's a good way to spot it. Like There's some pieces up here I want to get my, uh, my dupes hands on. So I've put in a few deodorizers over here as well to make sure all of that gets completely converted. I want all of it to be clean oxygen. There cannot be a single speck of polluted oxygen left in here, preferably. That will stop any of these slime lung germs from surviving. So we'll just skip it forward another day. Oh, and if you'll notice up here in the top left, Donny Digo has recovered. So no one is sick anymore. If I had have done this at the start, I'd be in a much better position now. There'd be no slime lung germs left, but bringing my dupes back in here to do this all again, I'm exposing them a second time, so I could eventually end up with another duplicate sick. But do bear in mind, with six duplicants, all with no Atmos suits, they took apart an entire slime boy and without really caring, and only one of them got sick, giving me a minor inconvenience for a day. Well, and let's just change the schedule back. That change in schedule was to make sure my duplicate could make it back in time for lunch. That was it. Now that the slime lung outbreak is over, I'll just set it back to normal. And that's it. We'll fast forward until uh, we'll fast forward about a cycle or two and see what happens. So I fast forwarded the game about eight cycles just to. Well, just to get some work done. Reason being, if we look here at the germ overlay, you'll see that most of the germs have actually died off. We've still got slime lung in the oxygen, but it's heavily decreased. The oxygen is slowly killing off the slime lung germs. It takes about 10-15 cycles, but this whole area will eventually become clean. Not only that, but assuming you're not going to be coming back in here, usually you come in here, demolish the whole place, take out what you need, and then you're not going to be coming back for a while. The slime in here has been off-gassing. The deodorizers have been turning the polluted oxygen the slime has been off gassing into clean oxygen and it's been slowly sort of pushing its way out and pressurizing the area so if we look here at the gas overlay this is all oxygen and it's quite well pressurized so it pushes itself out and gives you a nice pressurized oxygen area it's uh, kind of handy so 
three takeaways from the, the main takeaways from this are bring deodorizers. They're absolutely essential. Two, come in from the top and go down if you can. There's a whole bunch of slime down here that hasn't had a chance to off gas and that we do not care about. Uh, three, bring in some mesh tiles if you can. They're not essential. You can get by with airflow. You can make tiles if you really need to. I prefer to use mesh tiles. That will help you uh, get rid of all the polluted oxygen that's in there. Be prepared to have a dupe or two get sick. It happens. It's not going to kill them. You don't need a medical center. You don't need any tablets. After 3.7 cycles or so, they'll get better. Uh, worst case scenario, just give them an extra schedule on the get, give them an extra downtime slot to make sure they can get back to base in time because they're going to be a little bit slower than normal due to the decrease in athletics and the decrease into their ability to breathe and recover their uh, breath. Barring that, it's fairly weak sauce. Slime lung is not that dangerous. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. The only thing to really be cautious about is make sure every single source of polluted oxygen around the area, especially in your main base, especially around any polluted dirt you have, is taken care of with deodorizers. Otherwise, if a duplicate sneezes near that, you can have polluted oxygen running around your base and then you end up caught in this constant loop of duplicates getting sick, sneezing into the polluted oxygen in your base, and everyone gets sick and it, it, it spirals and it becomes a problem. So just make sure you spam lots of deodorizers and you won't have any issues. Anyway, I think we can cut it out here. That's, uh, that's how you deal with slime. Good luck.